Hey guys, this is a desktop inverter and this is a wall mount inverter. Now, the big question is, is there really any difference between the both of them? They're just inverters, right? This is a 5 kV inverter and this is a 5 kV inverter. One seems pretty big and one seems very small. <laughs> so let's find out. What exactly is the difference? Are there really any differences between the both of them? The best way to find out is to put this to a practical test, all right? We're gonna open up these devices. We're gonna take these covers up, take all the screws off so we can see what is on the inside, all right? What constitutes this very big frame that you see? What exactly is going on on the inside of this inverter? And we're gonna open up this small guy too, which is a wall mount inverter, all right? We'll open them up then we can decide for ourselves with some practical demonstration if there's really any difference between the both of them but for us to find out just in seconds stay around hey welcome back everybody how you doing my name is Ikenna from smiling sun everything solar installation everything in vata installation everything going green and today we have the desktop inverter pretty good looking desktop inverter and of course we have the wall mount inverter so we're trying to find out if there's any difference between these two inverters all right if you haven't subscribed to this channel even though you watch all the time or if this is your first time of being here and you haven't subscribed you cannot consider yourself to be a member of this community can you <laughs> <laughs> all right so the benefits all accrue to you if only you're a member of this community just click on that subscription button all right and be part of what is going on around here in and around the world of solar technology all right and don't forget to click on that bell icon so that we can notify you when we have fresh and brand new videos which of course is every single week all right so these are the benefits and even more that you get from being part of this community all right welcome everybody it's the Smiling Sun YouTube channel. This is a desktop inverter, all right? It's a 5 kV inverter here, so that means the output is over 5,000 watts. And of course, we have another 5 kV inverter, but this time it's a wall mount inverter. So we're trying to find out exactly what the differences are between these two inverters. So firstly, what we need to do is to take off the covers of the desktop inverter and then we'll definitely have to take off the covers for the wall mount inverters then we're going to see for ourselves what the differences are between these two devices are there really any differences or is there actually a difference between the both of them we're about to find out right now so let's first and foremost take off the covers of these inverters then we talk further all right inverter. so let's first take off the covers for um the um, wall mount inverter So once this is pretty much done, we will um, then all look at it together, all right? So that we can see if there's any difference. So whatever the difference is, we will um, most definitely find out for ourselves, all right? If there's really any difference between the both of them. Okay. Oh, it seems pretty heavy for <laughs> a small inverter. I mean, one would have expected that as small as it is, it should be a lot um, easy to uh, pretty much take the screws off. But that doesn't seem to be the case right here. Okay. All right, so we're almost there. Whoops, so the covers are off. So we've taken off the covers for this um, inverter. So we'll turn it over so that you can see what is on the inside. Oh, Whew. quite pretty heavy for a small inverter. So now this is the wall mount inverter. So the wall mount inverter is open. So let's go ahead and um, take off the back back cover for the um, our desktop inverter ok 
Okay, so all the screws are out. Okay, so we're about to take it off. Um, we'll definitely have to unplug the fan. So this is the fan up here. So we'll unsocket it from the, um, the board. So we'll most, most definitely have to keep it on the floor here. Okay guys, so, all right, so we can pretty much see what the inside of the two inverters look like, all right? So you can see for yourself. Now, this is the reason why this inverter is very big, all right? So it's pretty much just a design. It's just a frame. You can see that even though it's that big, not everything is filled up. You can see a lot of space here, space under. So here is pretty much designed to be able to house of uh, the transformer so you can see the transformer here and you can see all the other components the resistors the uh, the ic's the mosfets um the, of course the transistors as well so here it's not all that filled up it has the fan you know on on top so the fan is not like it's down like you have on the deck on the wall mount so for the desktop the fan is up here okay so it pretty much has two two fans all right so uh one sucks in the heat and one blows the heat out so here you can see here there's a fan here uh if you can see it there's a fan in here so it has two fans one is a bigger fan and one is a very a smaller fan so you can see what constitutes why it's looking like it's quite heavy there's actually a lot of space going on here down here is a transformer the transformer does the conversion of the energy from the DC state to the AC state. That's from your direct current state. That's taking the energy from your battery and converting it to the alternating current, which is what you use at home, essentially to power up and meet up your need. So you can see the spaces. There's a lot of space going on here. So the advantage this, um, um, I would say that the desktop has a it can make your wiring a little bit uh, neater okay so if you're not that professional to be able to use your trunkings and if you don't have a proper laid out conduct wiring already installed uh, for your inverters to look a lot neater and more professional this guy will just be on the floor your battery is already on the floor so the wires are all quite hidden and it looks a lot neater so that's the advantage that i see here and because of the space that has been created by um this boxing this framework that you have here for the desktop inverter it has more space to dissipate heat because the transformer that you have here essentially generates a lot of heat when it's doing the conversion from the dc to the ac to supply your power needs and this is constant for as long as you have that power need to be met all right so because it has a lot of space so there's a lot of space for it to dissipate a lot of heat and all of that so when you place your hands on the vent you can feel the heat uh, being blown out and all of that so but this guy it's a lot more compact but in as much as it's compact it also has an advantage because it's meant to be mounted on the wall and of course you know the higher you go the cooler it becomes if it's on the ground there might be restricted airflow all right but when it's hung on the wall you have more air vents coming in all right so essentially what it is it's there's really no difference it's just a design okay so you can decide to go for a desktop inverter or you can decide to go with a wall mount inverter it's your environment your situations your condition that will determine uh what you should be going for but in terms of its output its efficiency it's all pretty much the same thing this is a 5 kva inverter and this is um a 5 kva inverter and both are supplying you the 5000 watts output so, there isn't much of a difference all right so you can decide to go for any of them they supply you the same output none drains the battery faster than the other none generates more heat than the other it's pretty much the same thing so it's just pretty much the build so that's why i decided to 
open it up so that all of us can see it you can see the transformer size here it's pretty much the same size with the transformer that you have here because they are the same transformer ratings all right none is bigger than the other so this inverter being bigger from the outside does not necessarily mean it has more components all right it doesn't have more components but just because of the design and the framework you can see that everything is not all filled up here okay so the two inverters are the same thing so you can go ahead and make your choice get any one that works for you all right so if you don't want to go through the stress of having to drill the wall and of course you could have a situation where your landlord wouldn't want you to drill the wall okay your landlord doesn't want anything bad on the wall probably because the landlord has had a very bad experience with an a previous tenant and they don't want things screwed on the wall just put it on the floor it does the same job it supplies you the same energy output all right all right guys that's the very much we have time for today now you know desktop inverter wall mount inverter same thing just a different design <laughs> all right it's still a now from smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green all right so if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe all right and encourage us as we go on to get you more and more videos all right and don't also forget to click the bell icon that notifies you once we have fresh and brand new videos which usually happens every single week don't forget to comment don't forget to like we will try as much as we can to reply every single comment that we see all right you are very important to us so whatever issues you're having just comment and we'll reply you and tell you how to figure it out okay thank you guys so much and see you in the next video